there are quite a few videos on YouTube that show how to check the squareness of a combination square, at least for measuring outside angles, such as this. And um, I'm going to demonstrate that while the basic procedure is correct, the, um, the suggestions are incomplete. The, it's not adequate to test just one configuration of your combination square. So let's, uh, let's do the procedure as we normally do. And um, we'll start with this configuration. Simply draw, flip the flip the square, and draw a line on top of the other line, and we find this is very good. Um, it, it looks looks good, and that's what I thought. I thought I had a good square. What I found though was that when I screwed up two parts and started investigating, I found that this thing was not giving me the results I expected. So I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about when I tell you about the scale orientation. So looking at the scale here, we see that the, ca the scale has, the scale has a 1 8 inch scale here, and across from that, a 1 16th inch scale. Then on the other side, there's a 1 32 scale, and another 16th scale. So what I've chosen to do is use the 1 8 scale as a reference. And so I call this orientation of the scale in the square head the 1 out orientation, which is always referring to the 8th scale. The 1 inch end of it is being clamped in the square head, and the scale, the 1 8 inch scale is out, away from the square head. So that's the one out orientation. Now I'm going to flip this in for end and I'm going to get the 16 in orientation and we'll see what that does. So simply flip it end for end. and do the same thing. Oh, let me mark, let me mark this as the one out orientation. And now we'll do the six, 16 in orientation. Oops, that's the wrong side. 16 in. And that's also very good. Let me mark that. All right, so let's flip the bolt. And now I'm going to do the one in orientation. So once again, I've got the one inch end of the eighth inch scale clamped and it's now in. That's way off. Now I'm going to bring the camera down here so you can see these 
but I'm going to draw all the lines first. Um, so this is one in. So we flip it end for end and do the 16 out orientation. So we got 16 inch end of the eight scale out. So now I'm going to bring the camera in and I'm going to leave it running while I bring it in so you know that I'm not cheating. So please excuse the bumpiness. I'm going to turn the camera off now. Okay, we're back. Camera's back on the tripod. There's one other thing I want to discuss. Well, let me just discuss this a little bit. The fact that we can get really good results in one orientation of the square and really poor results, this is actually more than the 32nd uh, off. Really poor results in another orientation means that you can't correct this by fiddling with the two points in here as shown on many videos. If you did say start here, saw that error, and then corrected it by filing or sanding or uh, scraping these two points as they're shown, well, all you would do is move the error to some other configuration. You wouldn't correct it. So the other point I want to mention is that uh, we had really good results with the one out orientation, which is this orientation. See, there's the, there's the one end of the thing and the one end of the one eighth scale and it's out. Now, if we flip this this way, we also have one out. But we are now set up for measuring outside, inside angles instead of outside angles, which is something we also are interested in doing. And realize that it, the same two points are being matched up here. So the, you know, more or less the same two points on the scale are matched up with these two points, two reference points inside the square head. However, in this case, the relative positions are reversed relative to what they were here. So that means that if this really good result is a result of the fact that there are errors on the scale that are being compensated by a matching but, reverse, but inverse error on the two points, when we flip it to do, this, to do this configuration, that error will be doubled. So the bottom line is it's important to check your combination square in multiple configurations to know what it's doing and then you can make decisions accordingly.